Hello everyone, it's Gray, uh, or Blender Helix Alpha, as you might know me. Today I have a tutorial on how to professionally model a race car tire. So what we're going to do is add a mesh plane. I'm going to size it on the x-axis by using SX. I'm going to go to, uh, to edit mode using tab. Control R to loop cut. And we're going to make a loop cut here. And we're going to make a loop cut here. And we're going to make another loop cut here. And another loop cut down here. And a loop cut right here. And a loop cut right here. And then we're going to make another loop cut right here. Lots of loop cuts. Right here. And two in the center like this. Okay, now we're going to... Um, go to face select by clicking that triangle down there select um, these faces like I'm selecting right here okay then we're going to extrude this up a little bit so we have a good start of what we're going to be doing. Press 1 on the numpad to go into side view, move it to where you can see it, go to vertex select mode, and select all of these at the uh, end of this. Go back into side view, extrude edges, and make a curve with uh, just hand modeling a curve okay so now we have our first step of what we're going to be doing add a modifier to what you have now add an array modifier put the relative offset on it, it is on by default make the X zero and make the Y 1 and uh, the, and so it's kind of like a mirror but not really um, so make this fixed count and turn your count up around to 25 I think 25 is a bit much so we're gonna do 20 okay then we can uh, alter that in a little while okay and go add mesh or I'm sorry, add curve bezier cur uh, circle rotate R Y on the Y axis 90 degrees size that up and that object is by default called the curve circle go back to your tracks collapse that go give it a curve modifier an object panel type in capital C curve capital C circle and uh, if it does this you are doing everything correctly and uh, instead of making it curve on the x-axis make it curve on the y-axis and if that axis doesn't work for you then try all of them to get the uh, try all of them to get the results that you'd like so for me, it's the y-axis that works perfectly. We're going to size our tire down on the x-axis to make it more, look more realistic. We're going to, for good measure, um, Alt-C, convert to mesh, delete our circle, delete that. We are going to, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't do it right. Don't delete anything just, just quite yet. Go back to your main tracks collapse your curve and go back to your array and turn the fixed count up until this meets and makes a perfect circle okay so that works for me apply go to curve apply delete your circle now and so you have half of the tire so what you're going to do is shift D click R Z 180 
and what you just did is rotate it on the z-axis by 180 degrees then we're going to drag it this way to where it meets up perfectly and we are going to click both of those, control J, join selected meshes center new and then we're going to size it down again to make it look realistic and you have a very very basic um, professionally modeled tire and uh, this is done very quickly um, with no detail or thought put into it to be honest so um, what you can do is you can keep doing this over and over in practice until you can make it look the best you can possibly make it and uh, yeah so that's basically how you do it and if you enjoyed this please tell me in a comment below